This is an infinite chess mural that I designed. Why is it infinite? Because every time you zoom in by a factor of two, you get the same full pattern repeating again, forever and ever. At least, you do in theory. I want to show you some of the cool mathematics that went into making this. We're going to start by drawing just one spiral. The first line of it starts here, and we're going to make sure that it touches this diagonal line somewhere. But where? Our rule is going to be that it touches that diagonal line at a right angle. We're just going to follow that same rule all the way around. So the next line also meets this line at a right angle. And so does this one. Etc. Etc. But we need more spirals, and remember we need the next spiral in to be exactly half of the size of the previous one. So how are we going to do that? Well, there's actually an easy way to do this. If we measure the distance from here to the centre, we want to make sure that the new spiral starts at exactly half of that distance. Make the next spiral half of that, etc. For this to exactly work out, we need to make sure that the first spiral comes back and joins at exactly one of these points. So can you figure out how to mathematically prove that this is what happens? Here's one last thing to deal with. I really want this to look like a chessboard because in my favorite book, Alice finds herself in a giant game of chess. I also really like Richard Feynman's analogy that doing physics is like trying to learn chess by just watching people play. But for this to look like a chessboard, every segment needs to have a neighbor of opposite color and diagonally touch a segment of the same color. How can you guarantee that this will happen for every one of these segments? I had a great time figuring out the answer to these kinds of questions when I was playing around with this fractal and I hope you do too. The less fun bit was figuring out how on earth to get such a finicky pattern precisely on the wall. And so that's why I bought this $600 machine to cut out the pattern. And five days later, with the help of my brother and his questionable but effective methods, we got it onto the wall. I'm making YouTube videos full time now, so expect to see this wall behind me a whole bunch more.